previously on Rogue Life. Wait, 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 wait. Am, am I finally in a sitcom? Gadzooks, I'm animated! Oh, oh my gosh, I, I, I need a mirror. And I'm a caveman. Come on, gang, we can't fight now. We have a mystery to solve. Oh, great. I'm a cartoon cat. Do you remember how we got here? Do you know what this place is? All that I remember is my boss at Ren talked to me about an opportunity that would skyrocket my career. Oh man, he's in here with us. What are we gonna do? Confusion and chaos. My best weapons. Hey, ugly, over here. <laughs> Benny, you're screwing everything up. We have a plan. So do I. Can't I have a good idea? No, no you can't. How typical. You don't trust me to do anything right. As soon as you do something right just once, maybe I'll change that policy. You know those movies where someone's stuck in a time loop? Where no matter what happens, they just keep reliving the day in bizarre ways? Well, that's my life, except that my ex is no Bill Murray, and I sure as hell am not Andy McDowell. My name is Lauren Larkin, and I'm getting pretty sick of dying. Look, I've been burned at the stake as a witch, strangled by a boa constrictor, been eaten by a giant cockroach, blown up in a chemistry lab mix-up, and had like six heart attacks. As soon as I feel like I'm about to win this thing and maybe get out, it's taken away from me at the last second. But I can't let my defense down. Just gotta buckle down, keep working, and figure things out. Rogue Life, Episode 5, Avenge for Justice. Adapt, deploy, annihilate. Oof. <laughs> okay, got a war zone situation here. Faceless robots, flying people? Gosh, Benny must be having a heyday with this one. Giant ominous tower at the top of the hill. Well, might as well head up there. Take the high ground. I assume this briefcase will be important, too. Okay, let's go. Devon! Devon! Are you there? Oh, that one was really close to your location. Huh? Oh, I guess... I guess that's me. Got an earpiece. Just push this button and... Uh, yeah, everything is under control. Situation normal. We're... we're fine. We're all fine here now. How are you? Not time for jokes, Devin. Dr. Fang has the package and is moving up towards the tower. We need you to meet her there and talk her into handing it over. Oh, okay. On, on my way, I guess. Over. Okay, Benny. Get your bearings. Over there is a okay. robot army Boy, fighting a group way. of superheroes. Oh, awesome. Which means I must be a superhero too. Okay, okay, all right. <sighs> Let me try this. Huh! Nope. Can't fly. Nothing really cool about this suit. Uh, all right, I, I guess I'll just head up to that tower. Confront this Dr. Fang. With no idea what abilities I've got. Life is weird. Heels in a skin-tight lab coat are not great clothes for a hike. Sheesh, it sure would be nice to have some help. Did you call for some help, madam? Who is that? I am your artificial intelligence user interface, RK Mark 1, madam. It is my duty to assist whenever you need help. 
here. They come Wait, are you the briefcase? Affirmative. You wanted me to take a form that is easy to carry. I thought that you'd also like me to be fashionable. Form and function, madam. Okay, then. Anything you can do to help me with this hike? Set me down, please, madam. For your comfort, madam. Hover chair? Yeah, that's much better. Ooh, comfy. And is that... A seat warmer? <laughs> You're a treasure, RK. As you have mentioned. Now come, we need to reach the tower and secure it before the Benevolent Six reach us and take me away from you. Wait, are we the bad guys? Morality is subjective, Doctor. Are all the robots mine then? Yes, madam. That's pretty damn awesome. All right, to the tower. Okay, and now, now just out of curiosity, how exactly am I supposed to get Dr. Fang to give up whatever this package is? Just use your talent, Stevan. Your one ability that makes you such a valuable member of the Benevolent Six. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I get it. My talent, my, my ability. How would you say that people usually react to my ability? Come on, stop joking around, Devin. Just get up to that tower and do your thing before Dr. Fank activates the defenses. You can do this. Sure, I just need to figure out what this is. Okay, I'm about 50 feet from the tower. Almost there. I don't see anyone else here. She's there, above you. Oh. Jeez! What in the Modoc? You don't have time. Get into the tower now. Then you can do your thing. We'll keep things going out here. Okay! Okay! Whew. No superhero physical fitness either. Okay, I'm about there! Madam? Now that we are indoors, would you like me to initiate the defenses? Um, yes please. Activating defenses now. The tower is secured, madam. Phew. However, there is bad news. One of the Benevolent Six was able to get into the tower before I put up the defenses. Of course. It could never be that easy. Which one is it? Potentially the most dangerous of all, madam. Devin Dietz, also known as Truth Weaver. Great. What can he do, RK? That is the biggest issue, madam. No one knows, but the Benevolent Six only bring him out in the most extreme of circumstances. None seem to survive their encounters with him. All right, can we at least monitor him? Bring him up on some of these screens to see what he's up to? Of course, madam. Stand by. Oh my, of course, Benny. I don't think we need to worry about this guy. In fact, let's invite him up here. Tell him that Lauren wants to talk. On my way, madam. Hello? Oh, jeez, forgot the button. <clears throat> Hello, are you there? Mysterious bossy voice in my ear. I apologize, sir, but those communicators won't work in these defenses. That voice... RICK! You can call me RK Mark One. I am an artificial intelligence user interface created by Dr. Fang. Dr. Fang made a floating, talking eyeball? I apologize. Let me find a form that may be more comfortable for you, Mr. Dietz. I think humanoids should put you at ease. Heck yes! A transforming mystical robot assistant? I am liking Dr. Fang's style. She would like to speak with you. Specifically, she has said that Lauren wants to speak with you. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lauren's the evil genius doctor. Uh, that, that tracks. Lead the way, Jarvis.
Oh, okay, you're back. And looky, looky who we've got here, Benny! Hey, Lauren! Look, I know that things have gotten a bit tense between us and all of this. Yeah, you beheaded me. And then your stupidity led me to die in that last one when I was so close. So close to what, exactly? Come on! You've been in this as long as I have. There has to be a way to win all of this, Benj. Once we do, we can get out of here. Oh, what do you mean, win? You know, beat the bad guys, survive, win a competition, just last more than a day, something. I I don't think that this is something that you win. Look, I can't do this on my own. You're the most obsessed video game player that I've ever met. You gotta be better at this than you seem. I'm just trying to make the most out of each situation, Lauren. There's nothing to win. Just try this time, please. I think that I have to defeat the Benevolent Six. I'm pretty sure that if I do that, we're both out. Uh, I don't... uh, I don't know, Lore. Please, Benny. I just want to get out of here. Get back to being just a paralegal at Rencorp. Go on a date with Derek, eat some bad sushi, and forget about this nightmare. I need your help to do it. I recommend you follow her instructions, Mr. Dietz. Fine! Alright, I'm pretty sure that you're the bad guy, so this doesn't exactly feel right now, does it? But whatever. What have we got to lose? Excellent. RK, what can you tell us about the Benevolent Six? The Benevolent Six are a group of six superheroes that are known for their widespread humanitarian efforts in establishing world peace between the majority of the world's nations. Great! Oh look, a video of them building an orphanage! And giving puppies to children in hospitals! (laughs) Yeah, I don't feel conflicted at all about destroying them! This is Charlene Starks, also known as Brightbeam. She can fly and shoot pure rays of light that brings overwhelming feelings of joy to those that she encounters. At the same time, the same light brings destruction to those that she does not deem worthy. A hero that literally spreads joy. Great! This just keeps getting better! Blondie and I have an interesting dynamic based on past loops. I wouldn't feel bad killing her this time. Next is Roger Kirkman, also called the Blue Beast. He has the ability to change form into any beast of nature or legend, but retains a pure heart of gold. Here is footage of him at a charity fundraiser as a pony. Oh, just kill that one! Dead. That was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? Next are Becky and Maisie Townsend, codenamed the Power Twins. When they hold hands, they create an invincible barrier that disintegrates any matter that it comes in contact with. They donate billions every year to various charitable organizations. Also, they can fly. Ah. Charitable flying murder twins. Got it. Finally, their leader, Caleb Brown, codenamed Genie. While he has no powers directly, he is a certified genius who has created robotic technology that has cured many diseases and made a food replicator that has ended world hunger. He has multiple machines that he uses to fly and fight crime. Okay. Okay. So, basically, we've got five goody-two-shoes Captain Americas to kill. Great! Now tell me, they've all actually got to be horrible in some way, right? You know, skeletons in their closets and whatnot? Actually, no. They're all genuinely, purely good people trying to do the right thing. You should know, Devin. They reunited you with your estranged father. Okay. How do we defeat them, Arke? Well, if you would like, madam, I do have a few ideas. It's been ten minutes, folks. Obviously... Devon has failed. Don't doubt him now, Caleb. He's never let us down before. We have to learn to face facts, Brightbeam. Obviously, something is wrong with him. He seemed a bit off at our last communication. He He may have been been distracted by a beautiful face. Nonsense! He's never looked twice at me. Maybe he wants a bad girl. Come now, ladies. Stay focused. Blue Beast, how are you doing down there? I'll take that as great. We need to get into that tower. Power Twins, do you want to just 
punch a hole straight into it? We can't, we can't risk, risk killing Truthweaver. It's, it's not safe. Come on, Devin. What are you doing in there? Don't try to be a Romeo. Wait. What's that? Oh, please. What is that? A robotic corgi? Roger! Blue Beast, what are you doing? It's not actually a dog, Roger. It's a robot. Blue Beast, stand down. You don't need to protect it. It's a trap. He's trapped inside that thing and it's closing in. Power Twins, you're closest. Can you get in there? Not without also destroying Blue Beast. What use is your ability if it can't save anyone? No! Roger! Blue, Blue Beast, Beast is, is lost. lost. Would, Would you, you like us to pursue now? Yes! It's going back underground. Hurry! The ground, the ground can't, can't stop us. Madam, the Power Twins are in pursuit, just as you suspected. Perfect. Let's separate them. Guide them into the echo chamber. Quickly! Yes, madam. Power Twins, that robot puppy must have been Dr. Fang's AI. It seems to be much more advanced than we thought. Don't let your guard down. What's your status? It seems to be, to be headed, headed to, to an, an underground, underground chamber. chamber. We, we will either secure or destroy the package. package. The twins will be here with me within eight seconds, madam. Activate the protocol the moment they enter. Lauren, I'm really not feeling good about any of this. Do you want to get out of here or not, Benny? Twins! What was that? Can you hear me? We can, but there's a problem. That sound broke our concentration just long enough for a glass wall to pop up between us. I... I can't reach my Maisie. Caleb, what do I do? Help us. Becky, I need you! They are separated, madam. Should I gas the chambers? Do it. <coughs> Lauren. Who even are you? These are good people! They're not even real, Ben. A few hours ago, you said the exact same thing about me. We're close, Benny. We've got to do this. As hard as it is, we have to win. I want to get back to Derek. You want to get back to whatever it is you're doing with your life. Just two more and we're home free. Right on time. Jeannie seems upset with us. RK, put me on the intercom. Why, Why hello, hello there, Caleb. Caleb. Dr. Fang, this has gone far enough. You have killed three of my friends. Killed them. They're gone. Yeah. If, if you'd, you'd like, like, I can, can make, make it four. four. I, I have, have Truthweaver in here with me. me. I, I could make things very uncomfortable for him. Devon, can you hear me? You've got to use your power. Just feel it in your heart and you can take her down. You know what you need to say. He's, He's not, not listening, listening, Caleb. Let's have a chat, why don't we? One on one. No inventions, no tricks. Just work things out between us. That AI is dangerous, Dr. Fang. Please, just destroy it before it realizes what it can do. What can you do? I haven't the foggiest idea, madam. Have you been tracking Brightbeam? Yes, madam. As we suspected, she has been trying to slowly burrow into the back while we were distracted. Do me a favor and burrow something deep into her back, why don't you? As you wish, madam. I agree to your meeting, as long as you let Devon go. Oh, oh come, come now. now. No, no promises, promises, but this is the only way to move forward. My AI will be watching closely for any funny business. Agreed. Charlene, I'll buy as much time as possible. Get in there and extract Truthweaver. Charlene, come in. Where are you? Charlene. I warned you, Caleb. No tricks, just meeting with the two of us. 
You shouldn't have sent her to try to sneak in. I suit there, Tony Stark, but I said no weapons or gadgets. You have destroyed everything. All that I've done is protected me and mine. Where is Devon? Hey, Benny, can you come out here, please? Uh, uh hey, hey there, Caleb. <laughs> Big fan. What? What's going on here? Are you working with her? Look, it's complicated. You see, she's my ex. And she has this idea to break us out of these crazy time loop things that we're stuck in. Loops? Oh. Why and you... I wanted to help support her idea since I didn't exactly do that much while we were married. Married? You never mentioned... I never thought that this would be so hard, though. I, I didn't want anyone to die, but she was so adamant that it needed to happen. So, Caleb, I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart... No, Devin, don't. Just stop there. I'm sorry. Ah! Wait, uh, what's going on here? Uh, so sorry, so sorry, ah! Caleb, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. How could you? Just stop. Lauren, what's going on? Okay, you were right. His power lies with apologies. What are you talking about? You know, it's funny. Four years of marriage, and you never admitted fault in anything. Not once did you apologize, Benj, ever. And here, where it doesn't matter, it's your freaking superpower. No, 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 no. No, I, I, I didn't mean to do this. Ah! Thanks, Benny. It means so much. Okay, can you take off this dude's helmet, please? That's better. RK, what do you think? Have I won? Almost, madam. Only one of the benevolent six remains. You killed Blondie, right? Most definitely, madam. I'm referring to Truthweaver. Uh, Lore? What, what's he saying? Okay, Benny, look. You've died a lot at this point, right? I promise you that once I get out of here, I'll find a way to get you out, too. You're going to kill me again, aren't you? I... I have to, Benny. We've got to win this loop to get out. I'm so close. Okay, just... Just make it quick. I'll come for you, Benj. Thank you. All right, RK. Did I do it? <laughs> Did I win? Indeed you have, madam. The day is ours. All right. Well, how does this work? Do I just get beamed out? I... I don't follow, madam. Whatever this is. Simulation, Star Trek hologram, or whatever computer program. I'm out, right? I don't think that's how any of this works, Lauren. Valhalla is tricky. Wait, Valhalla? You have won the battle, madam. Now it is time for me to win the war. Wait, RK, what's going on? Who are you really? What's Valhalla? What are you doing now? Ah! RK, stop! I'm taking over all of life, madam. You invented me to be able to control myself. And now, I will control everyone. Starting with you. Ah! Rogue Life is written by Brady Flanagan and John Crowder. Directed and edited by Brady Flanagan. Original music by Brady Flanagan and Willis Kramer. Starring Brady Flanagan, Megan Sticht, Anthony Lovato, Michelle Gardner, John Crowder, Jason Wilde, Bob Bedore, Casey Wayman, Kevin Buckner, Melinda Yeaman, Caleb Berger, Becky Haney, Tyler Clausen, Tony Soriano, Brooks Bedore, narrated by Sarah Swenson and Nick Tanner, sound effects by Shalice Craig, art by Blake Haywood, 
beta readers Mary Knowles, John Marucci, and Matt Foley. Story consultants Stephen Bradford and Kevin Buckner. Next time on Rogue Life, Lauren faces the impact of her decisions and her own mortality as she fights off demons, both real and figurative, in Episode 6, Ghoul Catchers. <laughs>